you could only go into the stores if you had a mask. Some of the stores even said it would be nice if you had gloves on. <laughs> He was really handsome, I swear. So anyways, this is the book that I picked up. Cannot wait to read this. So beautiful. I don't know guys if you can hear me, but we made it. So I'm gonna meet Jen in front of Starbucks. Anyways, cheers you guys. <laughs> okay. So as I promised you in my last vlog, I'm continuing this one. I totally messed up the days, but now I know that today is Thursday, which means that I have therapy. And honestly, I wanted to film before, but uh, I just wasn't feeling it, even though I woke up around 7.30ish. So I just washed my hair, did my base for my makeup. I have two funny little guys right here, but we will conceal them it's all fine and i'm trying out this new moisturizer that i got that you would have seen so far so good but i've only used it twice so i cannot really say but it does feel good on my skin that's something that i can tell you so as you saw in the last video my ring light came in and i'm super excited to film with it so we will do that and i a little bit reorganized my space around here so i moved my table it was right here and i moved it there and I put all my stationery there in the window and I just moved my mirror a little bit, comfy clothes for today. And I put that little, I don't even know, it's, it's not a sofa, it's not a bench, it's, it's a mixture, but it's really comfy. I got it for one of my birthdays, I think I was around 16. So I just moved it right there and I thought that this could be my studio area. So actually, I really want to look for something over on Ikea to put something on the wall. Maybe I will do that today. Yesterday, I was a busy, busy bee. I did a little bit of a cleaning. I did something for my Insta, I mean my food Instagram. So I did kind of a cinnamon caramel pancakes. Um, you can go ahead and follow me on my food Insta as well if you want to. Yeah, cleaning and I handed in my last assignment, which was my research paper plan. So I'm officially done with the semester part of the semester, which makes no sense. Meaning I don't have any more classes or I don't have any more assignments. I only have three more exams, which is great. So now I think I'm just gonna drink my tea, drinking chamomile tea for the morning. I'll do something for breakfast, then I think I'm gonna go ahead and edit, and then I will have therapy. And I think, I think, yes, I will have time to film the makeup look that I've been wanting to film for, I think, over two weeks now. We talked about this with one of my good friends, Fanny, who is a makeup artist, that, that it would be really fun to recreate one of her makeup looks. So we will do that. I'm sad I couldn't do it earlier, but university was just way too much. And then after that, I'm going to head out and actually go into the city. I cannot believe this. It's going to be super weird. I've been seeing Insta stories and my friends being out. I'm, I'm super excited. I'm going with my friend Jen, by the way. So we're gonna go out and drink something and eat something and just walk in the city Budapest in the summer and the spring is so beautiful and I'm so happy that we get to go outside because the whole vibe of the city comes from the people who are on the streets and in the bars and then you walk along the Danube and ah oh, it's just beautiful so I'm super super excited so I figured I would do my makeup before because then I would be already ready
So, what time is it? Summer time. Um, it's 11.24. I need to figure out how to do this makeup thing. Okay, this may not be the best option, but I had to move my table because I just can't do it without a table. So I guess this is going to be my view so I can put my stuff all over here. This will definitely be a problem if I will have to move my table every time because it's just not good for the floor. I don't want to scratch it. So maybe I will... Uh, maybe I will figure out something else for a next time, but right now I'm in kind of a time crunch. Okay, I think maybe everything is here. Here's the new palette. She's so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Cannot wait to play with this. And here's my old one. <laughs> you can see that it's an old one. It's from Revolution. It's the Velvet Rose palette that I will be using. And also from Makeup Revolution, the Fortune Favors, the Brave palette. And also have my few of my skincare things around here because I think I want to show you guys what I used before putting on my makeup so that you will have an idea about that as well. Hi guys, <laughs> all glammed up, but look at the state of this place. Cannot wait to clean this up. So I have just finished with filming it took way more than i expected let me blow out this little candle but i really like the results this is how it looks like i think it's nice it's subtle it's really glowy really dewy it's definitely something that i would do for a night out or if something big was happening because this is just a lot of makeup for me. I'm really tired, I'm really hungry and I really wanna call Orshi because we wanted to FaceTime yesterday but we didn't have the chance to do that. So we will do that today. Whew. And then I will talk to Jen and see how she's going because she actually has an online course, course right now. We wanted to meet in the morning, but that's why we're meeting in the afternoon. Just got an email that I got my final points on my clinical health psychology class so i'm just gonna run up to my laptop and see if i have my final grade okay so i don't have anything from the lecture so i guess this was the practice part oh yeah i have three notifications okay Oh my god, I'm so happy! Our project work got a hundred percent, which means it's a five. That is the highest note. I'm so glad. Oh my god. I'll text the girls in a minute if they got it as well. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad. We worked so much on this and this was so medical for me, but I really, really enjoyed this one. Oh my god, okay, I'm so happy. I'm just gonna text the girls real quick on Messenger. So this is just one part of my note. This is just the practice. So I did not do that good on the lecture part. So I will see what the final note will be. guys so it's several hours later i just hung up Fa oh, the phew, can't talk uh facetime with or she and she actually told me that the room was really echoey when we were speaking i showed her the new 
um, lights and she told me that maybe a rug would be nice in here so I got one um, it's from my old room but I definitely need to clean it yeah that's something new and I picked out my outfit I'm gonna stay with this um, body for sure and I have these mom jeans on which are pretty comfortable they're also from pull and bear by the way and this belt i have no idea where is it from and i'm just packing my stuff now i also uh, talked to jenny and we will meet at dak fence square which is basically the center like meeting point when you meet when you want to meet somebody in the center of the city here in budapest you will just say let's meet at dak because that is basically the the center of the city so we will meet there and then we will i don't know where we will go we'll just let our legs take us wherever we want to go and also around seven or eight ish one of her friends will join us i got this from england this is a friend's bag as you can see and it's super cute um my mom always tells me that i'm not 10 anymore and i shouldn't go out with bags like these but i really like it but for the record, I also talked with Orsi right now and I know that I will have to get like a more mature backpack because maybe even for this outfit, um, a more mature backpack would be better. I'm thinking a white one. We will see. I have a lot of white shoes. I also packed a cardigan because it is going to get a bit colder. I have no idea when I'm coming home. I just have no plans. I just want to have fun, go outside and meet my friends. I'm also packing this, um, this portable charger because I'm vlogging. So I don't want my phone to die because then we will just be without footage so let me just put that there i also need to pack a mask because maybe as i have mentioned before we have to wear a mask on public transport so i will do that and i was debating whether or not to wear gloves on public transport or maybe i would rather bring a hand sanitizer and whenever i'm touching something just after after it i will use a hand sanitizer maybe that's maybe that's a better idea i think i'm gonna go with that one but obviously i will try not to touch anything if it's possible and i also need to buy a ticket which is super weird i have not bought a ticket in two months super crazy like actually really really normal things seem like like i don't know like i'm an alien on this planet right now like actually i have actual anxiety going outside like what <laughs> okay everything's gonna be fine i'm just gonna go ahead and brush my teeth and pack my stuff and i'll meet you guys outside craziness craziness <laughs> Makeup hits different in the light. We're outside in the world. Everything's kind of back at normal. The public transport was a bit weird, I'm not gonna lie. But there were not many people, like three people with me on the bus and like five people around me in one metro wagon or whatever that is. Oh, I love your sunglasses. She doesn't want to say hi, that's fine. She looks gorgeous, by the way. Um, so yeah, we're here. I think I'm gonna do a few shots, but I don't think I'm gonna talk to you guys that much. Sorry, but I miss my friends. So we're just gonna have fun, I guess. So see you later.
really don't know what to do. I'm just happy to, out, to be outside. Uh, no, I'm going to go to the I guess we shouldn't be drinking, but there are lots of other people sh like drinking outside here. Anyways, cheers you guys! <laughs> Four Seasons Hotel. It's gonna be run over by a Porsche. <laughs> no. <laughs> so we decided to take a little walk around the Danube area. Maybe we'll sit in somewhere. Oh, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite restaurant ever. If you come to Budapest and you like sushi and Japanese food, come to Tokyo because it's a bit pricey, but it's definitely quality. And there's the Basilica. Yay! She's happy. <laughs> She's really happy. Come down to the Danube, and this is your view. Like what the actual hell? <laughs> so beautiful. Okay, guys, it's a bit later, and the monumental thing is happening. I'm sounding like I don't know, like the most basic girl ever, but it's my first Starbucks run in two months. <laughs> don't laugh. <laughs> She's laughing at me, but actually I'm getting really hungry and Jenny as well, so we're gonna get a sandwich. And no, I'm not gonna get a coffee, which is gonna be really weird. Going to Starbucks, not getting a coffee. But yeah. Showed you the there are little, little marks on the ground where you have to stand so you keep the social distance. But I think we're gonna go to another place and get something to eat. But we're Yay! 
I just had a really, really, really nice sleep yesterday. I think I got home around, I think it was way before midnight, like an hour, around 11 p.m. Um, I just put myself in comfy clothes because I have a little studying slash organizing to do. But before that, I made myself breakfast and decided to bring it upstairs. Got my laptop charging, so... Yes, I decided to make myself a little breakfast. So let's talk about yesterday, why I eat my peaches. It was really great. It was really, really great. Uh, we were talking a lot with my friend. I was so excited to see her. We got a few beers and then we sat outside, then on deck. If you're interested about this beer and if you uh, come to Budapest, it's from the brand called Shoprani. Shopran is actually one of the biggest cities here in Hungary. It's a great place. It's it's just beautiful. So the weather was really nice. There were actually a lot of people. Then as you saw, we decided to go down to the Danube and that was just beautiful. I missed this so much. This is such a vibe, such a feeling. When you get a beer, you're with your friends and you go down to the to the riverside and you just watch the whole city and the river is just flowing there and the sun is shining. I don't know such a vibe so that was really really nice and really really great and later one of Jen's best friends decided to join us and it was really great because actually all three of us went to the same high school that's where I know Jen from um, but they were a year above me so we had a lot of um, I don't know little experiences to talk about you know teachers and um, yeah it was just really really fun but myself a gin tonic which is my favorite drink and it was just so nice to sit outside and we actually got drinks outside which is just so weird i don't want to make it seem like it's all about drinking because it's not it's about the experience that we finally get to do things in a certain way because it, it wasn't normal the whole thing it's just it wasn't normal it was we were talking about this with jen that it seemed like the the city like halfway got back to how it was before but not exactly so i'm just having a lazy morning over here what time is it it's 10 in the morning uh, i'm gonna finish my breakfast and in the meantime i think i'm gonna do a to-do list and uh, then i really want to start with one of the topics that we learned for neuropsychology so I think I'm gonna go through that. Before I start my usual time lapse, I just realized I never told you where we're going. So we're going to go to one of the malls in uh, Budapest, which is called Arkad. And uh, Gabor needs a few things and he's not really into online shopping as far as, I'm as far as I'm concerned. So we will see what's the situation, but we looked it up on the internet and most of the stores that we need are open. I don't know if we can try on clothes. I don't, it, even, even before this situation, I, I never really liked to try clothes on. I would just uh, bring them home and try them on here and keep the tag and um, if it like wasn't working or was with, like did not fit, then I would have just, um, uh, I just, I just brought it back to the store. noon I really want to start to get ready sink out my legs I just really feel like a slope so I think I'm gonna change from these clothes into something that I will actually wear outside and I really want to do my uh, skincare routine like my morning skincare routine even though it's <laughs> back to the really natural makeup looks I don't I'm not even gonna put anything else on my face it just feels really really fresh and natural not that i hated yesterday's look i loved it but it was absolutely um a lot on my skin so i'm really happy that it can breathe today so um we should pick out an outfit i guess
you guys. Happy Saturday afternoon. I'm just gonna put you in here. There we go. I'm so happy that I got this light because it doubles as a tripod as well. So you're gonna be looking down on me right now, but as so I've been wanting to film this outro for this video for half an hour now, but I got on TikTok and I got carried away. This is horrible. You go onto that app and then you just scroll through and you cannot seem to stop you have to be really conscious about it it's really dangerous i think um but not good not gonna go into that <laughs> i just wanted to show you guys the things that i got yesterday just a few bits and bobs we were out there in the mall for around five hours and it was really weird at some of the shops we had to wait for example because there were only 25 people allowed to go inside and we got these little black things so that it would buzz if uh, more people went inside, I guess. There were not many other stores that did this, but they were really, really cautious for sure. You could only go into the stores if you had a mask. Some of the stores even said it would be nice if you had gloves on. There were still a lot of shops which, which are not open yet for sure but those ones which are open there were just a lot of um sales going on for sure like 50 60 70 even 80 percent off so i guess you can see how the economy is affected they just really wanna they just really want you to buy basically anything so i guess they are um trying to make it more cheaper i don't know i'm not good with math or the economy but i guess that could be the reason so i got a few things not to better the economy or not just to do that but i wanted a few um essentials and two things that i really did not need but i want and i just wanted to show you guys that so this is gonna be a really small haul let's just start off with this little guy so i've been wanting to go to the lush store for ages now and I wanted to try out these um, bath bombs and I had a really nice chat with one of the girls working there she was putting the whole show on for me and these kind of bath bombs which are um, kind of doubling as a bubble bath you can take them apart so you don't have to use the whole thing at once and it becomes like a bubble bath baby <laughs> looks like a volcano for me but Oh, it smells just really amazing. It's lavender, which is, um, you know, guys, if you watch my vlogs that I love lavender, it makes me really chill and just relax. Not just me, but this is, this is like a universal effect of lavender. But I also use like lavender essential oil sometimes when I go to sleep and I just drop it all over my pillows. I also picked up another um, short. I wanted to get black shorts so these are the ones that i got they are cinched in in the waist and i really like the um the whole detail it's just really simple and actually i feel a lot more comfortable in this one than the one i purchased a few weeks ago that one is definitely like more like grungy edgy style because it's ripped all over but it's high-waisted i can wear a lot of the tops that i purchased before and a lot of the tops that i even had before with this one so i'm just really happy about this so yeah this was a really conscious purchase it's from pull and bear by the way and it's a mum mum fit jeans so yeah really happy about this one i'm gonna keep the most fun thing till the end but i also picked up two home decor things one of them is this decoration this is just a word it says a dream and i really want to do like a home studio kind of thing on that wall this is a picture frame but i actually really like the pictures that um that are inside these are basically all the astrological signs and you can see their um star constellations i guess that's how it's cold this is what it looks like from up close let me know down below which one are you guys if you didn't know i'm an aries and i was just looking at this yesterday with my boyfriend and mine sucks like this is the least interesting like star constellation like what is this <laughs> it's really nothing extra this is the hoodie that i got wow <laughs> oh my god this may seem so weird for some of you but i actually love pokemon and yes pikachu was my favorite but i also really liked um charmander and yeah it's just the basic hoodie got it from the men's section it's really big it's a size m but it comes 
down until here and oh of course you can see it you can see it on the back it says pokemon right there it's really comfortable it's really really warm and uh yeah i'm just in love with hoodies i think most of my wardrobe is made up of um big hoodies or small hoodies or colorful ones i'm not colorful ones but i just love this and i know that we can go outside now but i cannot wait to lounge around in this one so yeah this is the small little haul that i wanted to show you guys i hope you enjoyed and i hope you enjoyed this whole little days in my life oh and i almost forgot i also got a new book for those of you guys who are really into reading i picked up this book um it's basically about herman rorschach who is a who was a psychiatrist he was the one who basically invented the rorschach test hence the name and i'm super excited to read this one because it's kind of like a novel kind of reading but it actually is full of facts and it's about also his life and also about the test and also about the um, psychology of the whole thing. There are actually photos of Rorschach in here. If you have not seen him before, I just want to show you really quickly. The teacher showed us his um, picture, this exact picture on our class this semester. And she told us that he actually looked like Brad Pitt. This is him. Does he not look like Brad Pitt? Like he was really handsome, I swear. So anyways, this is the book that I picked up. Cannot wait to read this. I guess I'm done with shopping for a while. I out shopped myself. That's how we say it in Hungarian. That's a horrible translation. But yeah, I guess I'm just done with shopping for a while. Uh, I had my fun, but I really want to save now for maybe if we are going to a festival. I don't know if any festivals will be held here in Hungary, maybe smaller ones, maybe in August. We will see, but I think I bought everything that I wanted to buy. So thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for being here with me. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a big like. And if you're not subscribed yet, then you can do that down below. And just so you know, I always, always link my two previous videos down in the description. So I don't know, take a look. Maybe you will find something that you will enjoy i hope you guys are doing okay i love you so much and i'll see you guys in a next video bye guys